Uh, so we're going to take you through the upward slash. Now, important one with this is trying to get the setup right. So we want our lead hand about midway down the mace. You can make this harder, I'll explain that in a second. Then you want your lead foot behind you this time. So we want to be in an L stance or a fighting stance. So about 50-50 weight distribution, one foot forward, toes pointing forward, one foot behind, toes pointing off to the side. Then we want to put our opposite hand right on the tail of the mace. From here, we're going to set up, we're going to treat the mace head as the pointy end of a sword, the dangerous end, point it towards the bad guy sort of thing. So midway grip, tail grip, point the pointy end towards the bad guy. Cool. So for this one, to do the up and slash, you want to first place the mace handle onto the elbow, then let the weight take the mace vertical, and this is the important bit, twist the torso. When we twist the torso, we then pull down with the opposite hand to bring the mace up, and then we have the upward slash. So let's go through that again. Actually, let's do that from a different angle. We go elbow vertical, twist the torso. Notice how my hand is staying quite close to my chest, and then pull down and go up. So we're making a seesaw action. And then to reset, push both arms forward, twist the torso back, pull both arms back. So we'll go that a little bit quicker. And of course, you don't have to go quite out so far. You can go up, arms out far enough just to get around the body, and go again. If you find that you're having to really extend the arm and then pull back, think about the position of your chest. To get your arm round, you have to really push out and go, but if we come up, twist the chest, all we then have to do is pull down. So I'll do this from this angle so you can see the pull down action. Go elbow vertical, twist, pull down. And therefore, we have the upward splash. If you want to make that a little bit harder, choke the mace a bit, okay? And that gets harder to fight that action, keeping the mace under control. Give that one a go, show me how you get on.